One day I ask myself a question. What if we can use an RGB mixer depending on luminosity, like lift, gamma, gain, but to mix? I created three nodes, used a qualifier to select needed luma ranges and started to... Wait, we can use saturation too. Three more nodes, saturation ranges. Let's add an offset node analog to the end, and we can choose what to use and when. Ah, we cannot select the entire range for soft in the qualifier and it is very time consuming to build it, to use it, preserving the sum of one in channels. It's not quite what I have been thinking about. And here I came up with a brand new DCCL. Simple mix. Mix your channels depending on their luma. Want to mix depending on the saturation? You can do it with these checkboxes. The mixing works in the next way. In the R, if we decrease on 1, it is the same as if we in the red output decrease green on 1 and increase blue on 1 and so on for every slider. Also, you can adjust subtractive saturation before mixing and after mixing. And what is subtractive saturation? I think saturation is better to show not on the actual footage, but on the gradient ramp. So here is our ramp. On the scopes, we can see saturation spread. On the left, where all channels are overlapping, saturation is zero. On the right, where one channel is on top and one on bottom, our saturation is one. The saturation gamma slider affects average saturated pixels more than the most saturated and the least saturated. But as in the real world situation, we rarely work on images with this kind of saturation range, so I moved gamma power towards least saturated pixels. So it behaves like this. As you can see, it has the most power on the pixels with saturation of 0.25. The saturation gain slider is much simpler. It affects the most saturated pixels more than the least saturated ones, and its result is almost the same as adjusting saturation using the gain primary wheel on the HSV node, or even absolutely the same. Why is it subtractive though? While our native saturation knob takes the luma of the pixel and pulls color channels towards or against the luma value, subtractive saturation takes the channel with the biggest value and pulls other channels to or from this value. Native knob preserves pixels' luminosity, subtractive saturation makes saturated pixels darker and least saturated brighter, and the subtractive method is more, excuse me, filmic. Ok, I hope it all makes sense now. The nuances. If we rebuild the DCTL using nodes with native tools, the chain will look like this. Adjusting the main channels first and only then the secondary channels. In the monochrome mode, our saturation, which goes the latest, is converted into gamma and gain. Sort of. The gain is gain, yes. But the gamma curve behaves in the same way as for the saturation, mostly for shadows. That's all. 